Book of Moon Book Club, episode two. There's been a lot of time in between these episodes, but catch me here on Mondays, and I'm doing book readings on Twitch as well. Book of Moon Book Club, we're talking about The Power of the Other uh, by Dr. Henry Cloud. And we're in chapter seven now. We're in chapter seven. I've been doing a lot of a lot of reading and reflecting um, on this one. I really like this one. So if you're part of the book club, comment a book below. And catch me here on Mondays. All right, let's get into it. So in chapter seven, chapter seven is titled Freedom Requires Responsibility. So in a corner four relationship, you have the freedom to speak openly and honestly with someone and not have to put on any type of mask. And you understand that that person, they're speaking openly and honestly with you as well, and they don't have a mask on, right? So with that freedom, you get the freedom to say what you need to say. The other person gets the freedom to give you advice unsolicited or however it's going to go. But there's responsibility in that, in a sense that this person is not meant to or obligated to get you out of tough situations that you put yourself in, even in the corner four, right? So early on, Dr. Henry Cloud talks about a golfer that stood up to his dad where his father was helping him golf you know asking him questions like why'd you do that why'd you do this why'd you do that where the young golfer said this is my game and that's the full 100 percent accountability of i made the decision and i've made and am making every decision based off me and based on what i think Right. And that's kind of the level of accountability that everyone should have. You know, you shouldn't be able to go back to a person and say, well, you said, because in that sense, you're you're not you're not holding full accountability if you can do that. If you can go back and say, well, you said then that means you made a decision based on something, something else or or somebody else. But within that as well, if you get yourself into a tough situation based on your choices, based on your um, your actions, the responsibility of that falls 100% on you as well. Uh, the reason that's important is because when you stand 10 toes down on the things you say and the things you do, and you hold that full accountability, that full responsibility, and it's 100% on you, it puts you in a position to make better, better choices. As uh, Dr. Henry Cloud puts in here, the one iron is in your hands. So instinctually, if you have to adjust or change anything, Instinctually, if everything is based on your knowledge, experience, and perspective, then it's easier for you uh, for you to do that, right? Accountability is also accountability and expectations is also part of this, where two friends are in a business relationship and one's not being held accountable for missing deadlines, so after a short talk in the corner four, they, the responsibility and the respect for each other goes up because one, you are now holding me to account to these deadlines. And then two, I'm only doing these deadlines because I'm trying to be a people pleaser. So the freedom of corner four is exhilarating it's great to have a corner four relationship with someone and it's rare and unfortunately it's rare but that's because of you know distractions social media perspective 
maybe someone put themselves out there and they were shunned, you know, disowned. You know, there's a lot of a lot of things. So understanding that corner four, three, two, and one, that just because you have that doesn't mean that you're not going to be held accountable within that relationship. And when you have that, when you truly have that, you're able to say things about accountability, responsibility, expectations without someone being hurt or getting defensive. If it's a true corner for a relationship. That's a Book of Moon book club. I'm going to be doing some more reading today. I probably want to finish this chapter today. Um, but comment a book. Everybody in the comments, comment a book. And if you see a book you like, pick it up, get started. Every Monday, I'll be right here. And then on Twitch, I'll be doing book reading. So rock with y'all.